Welcome to Tomahawk DIY everyone. Today I want to take a look at uh, unclogging a drain. So if you have a bathroom sink drain that uh, the water is backing up, it can be a pretty easy thing to fix. So if your sink fills up with water after running for a little bit and it's uh, backing up, it's pretty easy to fix. So let's take a look at how to do that. When doing this, one of the first things you want to do is remember you're going to be taking off um, the drain pipe down below. So I like to do something to remind myself not to turn on the faucet. Um, otherwise you're going to send water down uh, to a place that's not going down the sewer. Alright, so under the sink, first get things cleared out. Make sure you put a, a bucket of some kind under the gooseneck or the P-trap. You're going to get a little bit of water that runs out. Um, it may get a little bit smelly as well. I'll warn you of that because uh, the purpose of this gooseneck here is that there's water that sits in here all the time and that water acts as a, a trap to block uh, any sewer gas from finding its way back up. So um, that's if you're ever wondering why there's a gooseneck, that's the reason. So to work on this, we're going to loosen these two rings, some water is going to start coming out. So just slide this thing down like so and dump it out. Ah, and you can see some hair in there. Not a real pretty sight. Now the next thing we're going to do is disconnect back here. There's this uh, rod that actually goes back to the, the uh, drain plug up above. So to undo that, we've got to unscrew this. This one's gotten a little bit of corrosion on it. And we're gonna pull out, pull out the piece, okay? That's gonna allow us to pull, pull this guy out. Okay, we're going to set this aside, but we're going to clean this off. And then you can see all this hair and other junk backed up in here. So to clean it out, I like to take a newspaper and work it down. It's going to kind of chase everything down into the bucket below. I'm going to use this big screwdriver. Uh, you could do something else in there to help push this down once my fingers can't get it anymore. And pull that out of the bottom. I'm going to send another one down. Now obviously make sure you've taken the P-trap off down below before you start sending the newspaper down. Otherwise uh, it's not going to work so well. You we don't want to try and send this down to the sewer. You could use paper towels or some other soft flexible paper to do this. So let's see what happened down below. Alright, so now we've chased all this junk out. Now we're ready to work on putting the sink back together. Check out the inside of here, see if there's anything you need to clean out. In this case there is. We got this thing cleaned out. So now we're going to reconnect it. Slide it up and get You see there's these gaskets you're going to get nice and tight right around the edge. Now before, I like to just tighten a little bit down on one side and then come over to the other side and start tightening. You can do that, uh, work your way between the two rings on the P-trap as you tighten them down and that will help the gasket sit nice and smooth. And get this guy cleaned off. Hopefully you don't have any drips. If you do, tighten things down a little bit more. Um, if for some reason you need to replace some parts, I'll include a link down to Amazon where you can get some new P-traps and gaskets and things. Um, I like to make sure I've wiped all the water off 
and then keep an eye on this over the next couple of days. Maybe leave a bucket down below, um, a dry bucket to check on, be sure there's no water leaking. So there we have it. Now we've got our sink uh, fixed and pretty straightforward, easy to do. Save yourself some money from calling the plumber. Do it yourself. Thanks for watching Tomahawk DIY. Don't forget to subscribe, leave some comments, and have a great day.